Hello, parents. We hope you're doing well. Um, sorry you missed our kinder and first grade math workshop. I want to touch base on a couple of things we talked about um, that are a good ways to benefit your children and us. You can look over some of the games we're sharing um, and then also look over the really the general curriculum overview that's also being shared. First thing is um, subitizing. Subitizing is very, very important to children. And it's also because they're not supertizing. It's the idea of looking at an image. You can look at an image. Um, I'm going to show you with dots. Um, you can do it with pennies. You can do it with multiple things. But it's showing it for about three seconds. And so it's the child seeing quantities as a grouping, not just because they can count one, two, three, four, five. So let me give you an example of that. Okay. So let's look at that. And let me pull it away. So if we think about it, how many dots did you see? The nice thing is, let's say your child said we saw three dots. Like, okay, explain to me how you saw three. So they saw they saw eight dots. So how did you see eight? It's not about saying they're right or wrong, it's about them justifying it. So what you'd want to do is you're gonna go back and show them the image again. So as you show them the image again, say, okay, how many dots did you see? And then obviously some children will count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not the goal. You're hoping they're going to say, maybe I saw three by three. Maybe I saw two, four, six. Maybe I saw four and two. But let them walk through the different ways they see it. Because it's reinforcing their addition facts as it's also giving them a, a visual image of the quantity itself. So subitizing is a great strategy to use. I also want to show you um, taking pictures and doing what do you notice, what do you wonder. What's nice about what do you notice, what do you wonder is, so you take a picture of something or you look at a picture of something and say, okay, what do you notice? And let them tell you, maybe they say, I notice there's white T's and blue T's. I notice some T's are facing left, some are facing right. Maybe they notice the pattern. And they tell you about the pattern. They say, oh, well, I notice the white tees go every other one, which is the direction they face. I notice the blue tees face two to the right, two left, two to the right. Maybe they tell you, I notice there's six white. Maybe there's six blue. You can also talk about how many total tees do you see. Again, this is a great way to get them to think about quantities as a visual, again, the visual representation. And then the last activity I want to share with you is an opportunity for you in the car and not just having them count forward, but working them counting backwards and also having them think of it in this way. So imagine if you're in the car and say, okay, can you count from 12 to 20? Say count 12, 13, 14, you know, to 20. And then once they do that, say, okay, can you count from 23 to 42? And it counts 23 to 42. Once you realize they have their numbers forward, then say, okay, what if we count backwards from 23 to 17? What if we count backwards from 31 to 24? Again, that, that sequence of values going forward and backwards will help them when they start to do subtraction. Um, helps with addition as well, but it really helps with subtraction when they recognize that counting backwards strategy. So these are really three activities I encourage you to work on. So first, the subitizing when you give them quantities. I would keep the quantities below 10 at first. Once they get that down, you can add more. And then the image. Um, talk, where you take a picture, what do you notice, what do you wonder, and then the counting. So hopefully this gives you some things you can work on through kindergarten and first graders, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in February at the next math workshop, and we'll have more to share with you. Thank you.